And the easiest thing for a politician to do is to appeal to our hatred and our bigotry and our fear. The Democratic Party has become the party of war. It's become the party of censorship. It's become the party of pharmaceutical companies, of the neocons, this very aggressive, belligerent foreign policy that forever wars. And this really bizarre turning our backs on the American middle class, which is the only thing that sustains democracy. If you don't have a middle class, any political scholar or political scientists will tell you if you have large aggregations of wealth at the top and widespread poverty below, that that formulation is too unstable to support democracy. The middle class has just been wiped out in this country and nobody's talking about it. And I think that's why Trump was so popular. He was the one guy who's talking to those people and they're angry because nobody's listening to him. And Trump said, I'm listening to you and I'm going to go break things for you. And they are angry and they want things to get broken. And there's going to be a revolution. Either it can be owned by Donald Trump or we can try to marshal and mobilize that energy for a more idealistic vision of our country. Every nation, like every individual, has a darker side and a lighter side. And the easiest thing for a politician to do is to appeal to our hatred and our bigotry and our fear. And that every once in a while, politicians like my dad come along who have a different approach, which is to persuade people one way or another to transcend their narrow self-interest and see themselves as part of a community, as part of a larger adventure, and be willing to take risks for neighbors who don't look like them because they feel like they're part of something important, part of maybe reconstructing our country and making it live up to its promises, and to avoid the seduction of the notion that we can advance ourselves as a people by leaving our poor brothers and sisters behind. My father was able to do something that made people find the hero in themselves. I would like to be able to do that for this country, and I think it's the only way that we're going to save this country if people can find a way to unify people from the left and the right and to build the kind of populist movement that my father was able to build in 1968.